Hi there, and welcome to the QImage Ultimate feature video. In this video, I wanted to cover some of the things, the most important things, that QImage Ultimate can do that other software can't. You might be in the market for photo printing software, and you're probably wondering, why should I get QImage Ultimate? What will it do that other software can't do? Well, there are so many things that QImage Ultimate can do that other software can't that I can't cover everything in one video, so I'm just going to pick the most important things and we'll talk about those in this video. First and foremost, other software can print multiple photos, like Lightroom can do it. Other software uh, is able to print more than one photo on a page, but oftentimes they make it very difficult to do, especially if you want flexible formats and flexible sizes. So let me just show you how easy it is to print things in QImage Ultimate. Uh, let's say I want a five by seven of this flower. So I'll click the flower and I'll select five by seven. And then uh, maybe I want a four by six of the castle here. So I'll select that and select four by six. And as you can see, it'll automatically arrange the photos on the page uh, so that you don't waste space. So it'll get as many on a page as it can. And you know, maybe we want a wallet size of Fred here. So I'll select a picture of him and select two by three size. And you can see that the layout is automatic and it basically uses AI to figure out how to place the photos on your page. And it'll always do it so that there's an option to cut across the page and cut these out if you want. It won't, won't over, overlap and block cuts. So it, it's smart in that sense too. So it's extremely easy to use. And let's say that I decided, you know, this one here, I want a four by six also. So you just click on the object you want. Here it's a print that's already in the live view, already in the job. So I click on that and it's a five by seven now. I'll just click four by six and it changes it to a four by six. And as you can see, auto rearranges the page so that they fit nicely on the page. Now let's say we decide we want a four by six of this. It's currently a three by two. If you hold your mouse over it, it'll tell you it's a three by two. So with that selected, I'll select four by six and it'll change it to a four by six. Want to go back to two by three, go back to two by three. And that's just how easy it is to make your own layouts and to print multiple photos at any size you want. It just makes it a whole lot easier than trying to fiddle with cells and trying to lay out your page ahead of time. Sometimes you don't know what you want until you see it. Uh, you shouldn't be forced to divide your page up into cells and create sizes. And sometimes they don't work right. And if you change you know, if you change a lot of software, even in Lightroom, if you change this to a different size, it'll, you know, you can manually arrange too. So I can just show you, I can just drag this up here. Sometimes it'll do something like that. And that's not what you want. Uh, it doesn't know how to arrange things, but QImage Ultimate does. It, it'll arrange things automatically and make things really easy for you. Now, when you get these photos in the job and you get your job all set up and you're ready to print, there are some options here. And it'll come up with the defaults automatically. But the thing about QImage is it will take all your photos and it'll optimize the resolution and the sharpening to your printer based on the printer. It talks to the printer driver and finds out what the output resolution should be. And it makes sure that all of your prints, even if you put a thumbnail in here or a very small 640 by 480 pixel image that you downloaded off the internet, It'll be able to upsample that and create quality that you won't believe. Like you could take a 640 by 480 pixel print, like a really small print that was only meant to be, you know, wallet size, and you can print it 8 by 10 and it'll look really nice because QImage Ultimate has advanced interpolation, advanced deep focus sharpening, uh, and everybody raves about the sharpening in QImage, and rightly so because. The deep focus sharpening in QImage Ultimate is so good that you can sharpen just about at any radius and strength and not get any artifacts, any halos whatsoever. So the thing about QImage is it knows how to do all of that optimally and send it to the driver. And it will do that to the point where you can take this print here and print it anywhere from a wallet size up to a 36 by 24 inch print. And QImage Ultimate will figure out the interpolation and the level of sharpness needed for that size based on the original pixels that are available in the photo. So it takes care of all that for you, optimizes it, and gives you a sharp, detailed print. 
Okay, moving on to other things that you can do in QImage. Of course, we've got borders and other features, like we can take, uh, I see, see that the color is already pink, but we could take and choose any color. Let's choose a, uh, well, let's choose a blue color here. And we'll say, we'll give it a, let's see, this print is selected. So I'm doing this to the selected print. Let's give it a 0.2 inch border. So you can do that. You can have photo mats that are uneven borders. You can have a bigger border on the bottom if you want. And of course, with, with this print selected, I can just, I can take that off if I want, just put a zero in border and it goes right back. Uh, so there's a whole lot of features that you can do. There's floating text. If we open up the full page editor here, which is this little more button, we get a full screen here of uh, different ways to align prints into quarters. If you're doing cards, um, you can, like I said, you can drag and manually rearrange prints, put prints partially on top of other prints. You can add floating text to prints. Uh, let's say we wanted to add some small text underneath this. We can just click here and type it and, you know, you can center it and put it on the, under the print. There's a whole lot of features that you can do. Basically, if you can think of it, QImage Ultimate can probably do it. And there's all these different layout modes. Uh, there, I was working in IntelliCenter for this video, but we can use IntelliCut, which puts all the prints right up next to each other so that you can use a single cut on most edges. There's IntelliSpace, which will just space things out. IntelliCenter, which tries to center everything on the page. So you get the idea. There's a whole lot of features in here that you can use to really get the, the layout that you want. All right, let's talk about the unclog tool because that's a really popular thing. If we go to file and we go to print or schedule unclog jobs, it will bring up this dialog here and it's got a, some helpful explanations on what to do here. You basically set up the job and you check the inks that your printer has and you can set up a print job and this is for the ET8550 printer and let's just queue which means queue up the unclogged job and not print it yet so that we can see it. It produces this custom pulsing sheet for your printer and your inks and you can print that every once in a while or you can schedule it to print say every day every third day every week whatever and that's to keep your nozzles exercised if you get a lot of clogs it might be because you're not using your printer enough so that's a really popular feature with QImage Ultimate. Let me remove this and as you can see when we remove that it goes back to the layout that we had so just at a glance that's the unclog tool there are other features that I won't go into. There's hot folder monitoring and, and other things like that, but I think that's beyond the scope of what most users want to use. Now we also have the image editor. So if I want to edit this image, I can just double click on it, or I could double click on it from the thumbnails here, either side. So I could double click on it and not even have to add it to the live view, but it's already added here. So I'll double click on this one. Basically double click means edit. And it opens up the image editor in QImage Ultimate. And you can do things like, let me right click here and, and bring up Fred's face. If I wanted to sharpen a bit, it's already on deep focus sharpening. So I can give this a lot of sharpening if I really wanted to bring this out. Let's say I give it a, a radius of three and 100. And we can see that the sharpness changes here. If, if we want to see the difference, we can hold down this button here and it'll toggle on and off the sharpening. You can see the sharpening going on and off. Uh, look here at the, at the lens is a good example. So when I hold that, you can see it's previewing what you just did. And of course there's levels and curves and things like that that you can do in here too. QImage Ultimate is not a photo editor, but this editor here is just a basic editor that allows you to do things like sharpen and maybe uh, change the contrast or do some things like that, maybe add a little bit of fill light so that you don't always have to go into your photo editor if you just want to make some simple changes. Now I want to show you another feature here. Let's take some of these out. We're just going to work with Fred here. 
QImage Ultimate has soft proof, so you can click on this and it will give you a soft proof based on your current settings. But it also has a new feature called the high res page simulation. So when you click on that, it'll create a simulated page of this before you even print it. And it'll bring it up on your monitor. Now on my monitor, it brings this up so that you can see the whole page initially, but you can also right click and select actual size. And when I do that, this piece of paper here is exactly eight and a half by 11. And the print of Fred here is exactly four by six. So I could hold my sheet of paper up to this and see exactly what's going to print and exactly the size it's going to print. And sometimes if I have maybe a a mat or a frame or something like that with an odd size. I could actually put this on my screen and do the actual size here and hold the frame up to my monitor and see if it's going to fit the way that I want to. So that's a really helpful feature. And the other thing about the page simulation here is that, that it's full resolution of the printer. So I can zoom in using the mouse scroll wheel here and zoom right in to the area that it, I'm interested in, and go right into Fred's face, and this is what's going to print. This is the quality that you're going to get in your print. And you can see we're looking at a really small area of the print up here. Uh, but you can actually really review your prints before you actually use paper. And that's a great thing for the page simulator. Now let's talk about AI just for a minute. Um, we have this thing called AI Copilot. And if you click on the button up here, you can see all the things that QImage can do for you. But the most important out of all of these is automatic color management. So if you're familiar with color management, or even if you're not, I'll show you this and uh, give you a quick view of how the color management works in the driver here. As you can see, I have a printer profile selected. And if you go into the driver and look under, I think it's more options, and then color correction, window advanced you can see that no color adjustment is selected in the driver and all other software Windows software especially expects you to go into the driver and make sure this is checked because if you do something like check this or one of these other ones you're going to be double profiling and your prints gonna look terrible but QImage Ultimate on most almost all Canon and Epson photo printers it will take care of this for you automatically let me show you what I mean you can see that the driver is currently set to no color adjustment, which is what you're supposed to set it for when you're using a profile. But let's say we check it to let printer manage color. And we get this little box over here. It says AI fixed the color management mode in the driver. Well, let's see if it really did. If we open the driver again, remember we didn't change this in the driver. I'm just going to go show you what the driver is showing now. Now it's showing ICM, which is what it should show for if you're letting the printer manage color, but you want it to use internal color management, even though that's not what this ICM stands for. Uh, but you get the idea. It has set this checkbox for you automatically, and no other software can do that. So QImage Ultimate will make sure that you never do double profile and that you're already set to the right driver color management whenever you make a change. Now let's take a look. This is the driver settings currently. It's in ICM. Well, let's change it back to the profile that we were using. And it says that it made a change to the driver again. Well, I bet it set that back to no color adjustment like it should automatically so that you don't have to open the driver and do that. Yep, sure enough, it set it to no color adjustment. So you don't even have to mess with that in the driver. QMG Ultimate will take care of your driver settings for you. And you'll never forget and you'll never make a mistake. Similar to... QImage Ultimate helping you with your driver settings with the AI. You can also, once you get everything right, let's say that I set this up exactly the way that I want it for this job. You can save your printer setup. So just click here, save printer setup, and give it a name. As you can see, I have tons of names in here from all the testing that I do, but you can give it an appropriate name like Epson ET8550 semi gloss with Canon photo paper and you know whatever file name you want to give it and save it and then when you want to use that again even if you're on a different printer uh, you can change here go to a different printer 
when you open that printer setup that you saved and go to that name, Epson 8550, semi-gloss, blah, 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 when you open that, it'll take everything back exactly that you, you know, exactly the way you had it, with all of these settings the way you had them and everything in the driver the way that it was set. So the ability to save and reload printer setups is a valuable tool because it makes sure that once you get things right, you can just load that setup in the future and use it and you know everything's right. You didn't make a mistake. There are no mistakes in the driver. There are no mistakes in any of the program settings and so on. QImage Ultimate also has the ability to turn color management off. And that's important if you are making your own profiles and using a profiling tool, you want to be able to print with color management off. And you can't do that in Photoshop. It has no option to do that. And I don't think Lightroom does it either. So everybody's always looking for a tool. How can I print this color target with color management completely off? Well, you can do it in QImage Ultimate because it's an option. Now, let me end with another one that, that's nice to have. If you have, I'm looking for one here that, uh, these, these three here are, are similar photos, but, uh, they're, you know, different shots. Uh, oftentimes we'll take multiple shots, hoping that one is, you know, the best. So you can select multiple photos here and then right click and use the best shot selector right here. So what that does is it brings up the first two photos and you can even lock the photos together and zoom in and take a look and if it's if it's off a little bit uh, let's say I'll unlock it and bring this down here that looks closer to the same because they, they were framed a little bit differently now I can lock them and move around and see okay which one is sharper which one has the best exposure and so on so let's say I pick, no, let's say I pick this one. I check, okay, this one is the best. Now it will load the next image. And I can zoom around there too. And let's say between these two, I can even hit Control S and it will switch between the, the two. But I'm going to, because the images are framed differently, I'm going to just keep it, you know, looking at them left to right here. I think this one looks better. So the check is red, meaning this is your last one. This is the best shot. So when I click this, it's automatically saying, congratulations, this is your best shot. Well, when you close this, of the three images you had selected, this one is the best. This is the one you picked. Remember, we selected all three of these. And when I'm done, the only one selected is the one that I picked as the best shot. And now what I can do is right click on that and give it a rating, like give this a rating of four and what that does is it'll keep see here's my four rating it'll show the rated images first in your thumbnails so i know this is the best one if i want to print it this is the one that i want so all of these tools they're just examples of things that maybe you didn't even realize you needed and now you can't do without once you have qimage ultimate or things that you wished you had and you didn't know that some software out there could do it. Well, QImage Ultimate can do it. So I hope this video helps give you a little example of the, just the kind of things that QImage Ultimate can do that no other software can. And if you're into photo printing, these things are, are really valuable time savers. So I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.